Joining us now is Dr. Jennifer. So excited to have her here. Uh, a couple of years ago, I fell off a stool at the back of my head, had a horrible concussion. And my son, Matthew, uh, playing football, also got a concussion. So we're going to be talking about concussions and a whole lot more, all dealing with our noggin. Hello, and how are Hi. you? I am doing great. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm happy that you're here. You're really brilliant. Um, and you had told me backstage that the brain happens to be your favorite part of the body. It is. And you decided you wanted to help people, and this is how you do it. Yes. I, I just, my passion is to help people, and my other passion is science. Um, and the brain is just such a, a, you know, a scientific organ. There's so much about it that we know, so many interesting things. And then yet there's so much that we don't know about it. It's almost like delving into outer space. True. All that gray matter, right? All that stuff and all the connections, everything that's in between. The gray matter, the white matter. I mean, there's, there's diseases that we still have to conquer, like dementia, whether it's Alzheimer's disease, Lewy body disease, vascular dementia, frontal temporal dementia. Uh, and every day we're learning new things about the brain. You know, we used to think that the brain we, bo we were born with is the brain that you get, right? So you're born with this brain and it develops until the age of 20, maybe the mid 20s, it's fully developed. And then after that, it's downhill from there. But we're finding out now that the brain is plastic. Really? We can strengthen it. Just like you go to the gym and you strengthen your muscles and you grow your muscles, you can also enhance your brain power. Is that why people by... play those puzzles like Sudoku and um, yes. those, like, they do, right? Yes. It's supposed to help. Yes, it does. And all of, I see so many patients uh, with memory problems and I can certainly prescribe medications. There's great medications that increase uh, chemicals called neurotransmitters like acetylcholine, but there's also simple things that we can do, like eating right uh, and exercising, and also exercising our brain with things that you said, playing Sudoku. I think it's also important to step outside of your comfort zone and do new things. So if you're always playing Sudoku, do something else. Okay, mix it up a little bit. Mix it up a little bit, Okay. yeah. What about the whole um, knowledge about how your right side of your body goes to the left side of your brain yes. and your left side of your brain goes to the right side of your brain. How, how is that work? How does that work exactly? Yeah. So, uh, that's exactly right. Um, so the right side of the brain controls the left body and vice versa. Um, the, the tracks are crossed. Uh, but then there are certain areas in the brain, like the brain stem and the spinal cord where the fibers are not crossed. Okay. But it's, it's actually very complex. The brain is a very complex organ. At what age did you realize that you had this like knack for science? Was it a certain science teacher that said, you know what, Jennifer, you're, you're great at this. Are you getting like A's in physics? Like what was that moment for you? Uh, you know what? I think as a, a female in this society, I did not get that early on. So I sort of had to discover it myself. You know, so that's why I think it's really important that you just believe in yourself. It really doesn't matter what people think about you. You just have to believe in yourself and your own, your own powers. What is TMS? Because that's on the card too. And yes. I don't know what that, I know what TMJ is, but what is TMS? <laughs> what is TMS? So TMS is this great new treatment that we have uh, for people with depression and anxiety. And, you know, we're seeing a lot more depression and anxiety these days. The, the rates of depression, anxiety, and su suicide are through the roof right now. Um, I think in some aspect because of COVID, because of isolation, and I think people are living in fear now more than ever, and people have suffered loss, right? So I'm seeing so many patients with depression. So TMS was actually FDA approved for safety and efficacy in 2007, but people are able to get it more now because the insurance companies are covering it. Okay. So what it is, is it's a magnet. So somebody comes to my office and they sit in a chair and they watch their favorite show, the Donna Drake show or whatever, <laughs> Thank you, Dr. whatever Jennifer. else it is. Um, and they, they sit in the chair and we put a helmet on their head. And inside the helmet is a coil that carries an electrical current. And that electrical current creates a magnetic field. And the magnetic field causes an electrical reaction in the brain an excitatory response called depolarization. Depolarization causes the neurons to release the chemicals that we need to fight depression. Just like when you take a pill, right? We, with this, with TMS, your brain can release the chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, 
to help battle anxiety and depression, but in a natural way, right? So when you take a medication, that, that pill has system-wide side effects. It affects your heart, it affects your liver, it could affect your mentation, it can make you a little m mentally dull, it can numb you out. Mm. The magnet stays local because mm. I map the part of the brain that controls uh, depression, the dorsal, lateral, frontal, prefrontal cortex, and so it works locally right there, and it's very, very safe. Are you um, a proponent? Do you know a Dr. Norman Peale, P-E-A-L-E? -E? I don't know okay. that Okay, I think you would also find him fascinating. He came up years ago with this thing, like this halo thing, mm -hmm. and that was the first time I had heard about like magnetic kind of therapy, but the mm -hmm. fact that you're doing something like this is profound. I think it's really unique. Not a lot of people are doing it. Um, so you're a neurologist, and so someone could call you to learn more about this. It uh, sounds fascinating. Absolutely, and there's all sorts of clinical trials going on now. It can help people with multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, dementia. Because again, in dementia, acetylcholine is decreased. And this magnet can increase levels of acetylcholine and increase the communications between the synapses, the neurons in the brain. And again, it just shows you that the brain is plastic. So they come in for 36 treatments, Donna, but this effect lasts for up to six months after. I love that. We I think, I, I mean, can uh, as we wrap up, do you have to be a certain age to use this or so, do you have to be over 18? So the that's a really good question. Okay. So the insurance companies cover it from age 22 to 72. Okay. But sometimes we can really try to push the, the insurance companies to authorize it at earlier ages or ages after. The only thing I'm thinking of is um, children that have like learning uh, disabilities. Yeah. I wonder if somehow that could be a, you know, some sort of science that we could get behind. They're doing Wouldn't research. that be wonderful? Like they're doing they're, research on they're that. They're doing research on that now. Dr. Jennifer, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you much. so much. It was a pleasure. Thank it's you. So nice to have you here. Fascinating topics. We love to bring uh, experts in to kind of talk about these new things that are happening to help people. So thank you for watching. Dr. Jennifer is here. Awesome. <laughs>